Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I am back with more actions with an X. Super happy to get into another episode of Tact Op Destiny. As you guys may or may not know, I am loving the shit out of this series and it is honestly one of the best anime I've seen in years. Probably going up there in my top anime, at least for production right now. Obviously the story still has a lot more to go to tell and do, so there's no way of telling if it's going to be in my top stories yet. Especially if we're only like episode six today i think but i'm excited to check it out and i hope you guys are as well because it's gonna be a fun time i guarantee it uh sorry if i still sound sick obviously we do these on sundays in the last couple weeks the reason we were late and had issues was uh, i've been sick and i was sick again for like thanksgiving so we're recording this the sunday after thanksgiving and i'm still recovering i apologize if i make weird noises sounds Right, with the nose kind of sneezy, I'm going to do my best not to do it most of the time, but obviously I'm not talking with my nose, so I sound weird. Uh, still, this should be a fun time. I'm excited, and I hope you guys are as well. It's going to be a super great episode. As always, remember to support the original content creator, because without them, we don't get more of these amazing anime and episodes and you know just all that great stuff and uh, you know support yourselves too guys i appreciate you for watching whether it be on twitch youtube or patreon you know there are benefits to each one and it, and if you can't support on patreon or you can't catch us live on twitch i totally encourage everybody to watch on youtube i would put up full episodes if i could but i tend to get them taken down and we have issues with the channel and it just messes us all up you know what i mean and i don't want to mess up everybody else's shows for new shows so we're going to go ahead and get into it with our uh, next episode of Climb, uh, I don't know, sorry, Tact Op Destiny. I, I want to say Climb Attacked because of One Piece, and then I literally watched One Piece the same day that I watched Tact Op Destiny, so. And actually, it's Tact Op Destiny, so it's, I, I know it's not a reference to One Piece, but I can't help but think of it as One Piece Tact, you know, I, whatever. We're going to go ahead and get into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's have a great one. Yeah, should be a fun time though. I I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. Oh gosh. Yeah, New Orleans is the birthplace of jazz. Uh, and the blues is really just in the south, but you know, New Orleans is really a place where you can trace it back. I like that they fucking mentioned that. Oh, she's growing. I love how she's always dissing him, and she's all, and he's always dissing her. I haven't heard her say anything wrong. I mean, she's strong, but she's very unreliable, I'd say. Were, were it not for tax instruction, she would basically lose every fight. <laughs> wow, look at this. Wayne's, did you notice that? The, the switch up? Oh, no, it's back. That was a crazy animation. So they gotta deliver it. What the hell? They're way too nice. Whoa, she looks way too, like different than an anime character her hair and everything is just kind of <laughs> gotta send a doctor over like it's such an american hairstyle i don't know there's something going on here no don't let her see you fool i don't know i don't know why you thought that was a both of the new pieces and some of the other one and now they gotta get a cat what is this this has got to be a switch up there's no way they do another one of these so soon we're gonna get to know everyone in town today bro what is that oh hello what is that oh memory Oh, that one looks pretty freaky. And then it got cut in half. That almost looked like the cut from Hell, but it's somebody else. No, that's Hell. So somebody else was there, and they could have stopped it, and they didn't. Something happened. 
Going to play some music, I'm guessing. Thumbs definitely up, but I can't put my finger on it. And I I can't tell if it's just going to be a kind of slower episode or if this is trying to draw Lola's down into like a sense of false security, you know what I mean? I don't know. Sometimes I'm I tri I just trip about stuff like that. Oh, he's got the speakers. Oh my god. They have the crackle from the high pitch run. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. That's so cute. Diamond Stiff on Nuremberg. And he, it's, is it his dad? I like that it really is all oldies in here. I keep telling you to go home, you drunks. Something like that. Oh, that changed everything. That guy is now not cool. That definitely changed everything. Flocculent? What the fuck is flocculent? I'm gonna have to look that one up. That's my word of the day now is flocculent to go look up. It booped me right before we left. Probably lost her in an attack. Uh oh, the husband's not gonna be happy. That's gotta be rough stuff, man. Oh, they got a whole ass fucking setup. Wow, they brought a whole crowd of oldies. Speaker setup, though. Thought they were going super hard on the audio. They're not. It's still really good, but I thought... I'll have to check again, but I'm pretty sure they didn't change up the sound for the open and close back on that piano or the top. The, that, that makes a world of difference on how the piano sounds, is it, whether it's open or closed. I am glad they opened it for the performance, though. It's kind of crazy. They really do get some details really well. Oh. And the husband. Yes. Oh, no, no. Okay, so it's still his wife. Oh, and he misses her too when she's watching him play. That or, you know, I don't know. I'm still flabbergasted by this episode, and it's actually pretty far in, so it does feel like it's going to be another Midway episode, which is interesting to me that they're doing them like this. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not quite good either. It's really interesting. He just roasted the sun by now. I like how she could tell exactly where he is. Man, and he's playing some... Is he a, it, to detect any place with the piano? Mm. Damn. Damn, though, the lighting and the music. It makes it so hard for me to even think about criticizing the plot when I'm just so focused on the damn music and the, the hand. I mean, the... <laughs> as best as I can. God damn it. Oh, he's going to write.
so very confused. So who's this guy? What is that building there in? The son of the rooster, and that's the second time we've heard the name. What the f was this episode? Ah! Okay, so let me break down my issues, okay? How do I say this? Like, I do like this kind of story. It reminds me actually a lot of One Piece storytelling, which is I don't say often, but the the doing a whole kind of feel good episode with that doesn't feel like it's important, right? Like, yes, it was character development, which is a huge aspect of any show and any or, and more character. Uh, it's still development, right? Like there it was. There's no other way to dis describe that in any sense of the word, and even some possible character progression. But then a ton of it, a little bits of exposition, and then a big piece of exposition at the end, and like a a lead up for the next episode. I'm not gonna lie. I think this was too soon to do an episode like this again, since we already had one two episodes ago, right? We needed another movement episode of. But, once again, I don't know the full scope of the story. I don't know how long this is going to be. It's so weird. Once again, sorry about the dose stuff. I'm just still recovering, and I'm so sorry, guys. It's so awkward for me to think about it, because absolutely there are going to be some, like, issues. Uh, with the pacing like that. But at the same time, this the flow of the story was kind of right for it. It's so weird. I don't know how to rate this episode. I don't know if it's good or bad, or I, I think it's a good episode in the wrong place kind of thing. But we'll have to see because once again, next episode could totally prove me wrong. Like I'm thinking back to when we were watching Shaman King just like earlier this last month. And I felt like the flow between episode 11 and 12 made them so much better than they would have been on their own and like kind of made up for 11. It, it's, it's weird. There's so many ways that they can a story that there's no perfect formula you know what I mean but it just felt a little off to me this time having said that I still super enjoyed it I hope you guys did as well I've been loving this uh, the animation alone even this episode where there was no action there was literally none this was no fighting this episode and I think that's where it got me even the one where we were slow and I don't think had no fighting so this one is the first no fighting episode and you could feel it but man, it was just so jam-packed with like little emotions with the whole daughter thing with kind of understanding the growth of Cosette or the, you know, destiny, I guess. Uh, and the story in general moving just at this kind of low pace. It's very interesting because it's not typical, I think. And th that could be good or bad. Either way, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to support the original content creators. That's what I'm going to do by checking it out on Crunchyroll. I will eventually check out the manga as well. But like we said before, we're trying to do more series that we've never seen before. One Piece is our series that we have seen and read. And everything else is hopefully going to be pretty new or, you know, newish. Or, you know, been a really long time since I watched it. Kind of like with the Red versus Blue or Rooster Teeth stuff. I've said that. I don't want to take all of your time to get I hope you guys have a great one. Plus... <laughs> It's, it's killing me to try to talk without my nose. So I hope you have a great day. I'm Axel Grave. This has been Reactions with an X. And we'll see you next time for some more Tacked Op Destiny.